you want the cats upstairs? Blink once. Do you want the cats downstairs? Okay, so you want the cats downstairs? Okay, we'll put the cats downstairs. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's 8.41 a.m. right now, and I'm sitting here working on my computer, and Boo was sitting here, and Stella was sitting there, and I was watching them out of the corner of my eye, and then all of a sudden I look at Boo and he's doing the butt wiggle, and I said, oh no, he's gonna, he's gonna jump on something. I didn't know if he was gonna jump on the toy or on Stella, and... What he did was he jumped at Stella and he jumped onto the scratch and roll like he wanted to play with Stella and Stella did not move. Like she didn't swat at him. She did not react. She did nothing. Meanwhile, about 10 minutes ago, Stella climbed into my lap because I'm sitting here on the couch and I was telling her that I'm going to be away for the next day and a half. And because I'm going to be away, and because that she's been fighting with Boo, and they haven't been getting along, and they don't accept him as part of the family, that her and Splash and Simba have to go downstairs. And that if they would accept him, then they could stay up here while I'm away, and they could all be like one happy family. So I was trying to really get that through to her, and I was also trying to get that through to Simba. And I just find it pretty remarkable that... After the conversation, this just happened. Whereas yesterday, if Boo went near Stella, the two of them would end up, like, punching each other. And now, today, he jumped at Stella, and Stella was totally calm. So, maybe Stella's trying to prove herself because she doesn't want to be downstairs for the next day and a half. Meanwhile, here's Boo, sitting on the couch cushion behind me. Hello, Boo. Boo, you look sleepy. Boo slept on the bed all night. Hello, Boo. Boo, would you like me to leave the cats up here with you for the next day and a half? Or would you like the cats to go downstairs? You want them to go downstairs or you want them to stay up here with you? Which is it, Boo? Boo, would you like the cats to go downstairs or would you like the cats to stay here with you? Which would you prefer? Hmm? Boo says they could stay here with him, but they have to be nice to him. Right, Boo? 
They have to be nice to you. You want them to go downstairs. You prefer them downstairs. But then you get lonely upstairs by yourself. Do you want them downstairs or upstairs? Blink. Blink once if you want them downstairs. Blink twice if you want them upstairs. Blink your eyes once if you want them downstairs. Blink your eyes twice if you want them upstairs. You're blinking for the upstairs? Boo! Do you want the cats upstairs or do you want the cats downstairs? Which do you prefer? If you guys are going to be alone together in the house, do you want the cats upstairs? Blink once. Do you want the cats downstairs? Do you want the cats upstairs? Blink once. Do you want the cats downstairs? Okay, so you want the cats downstairs? Okay, we'll put the cats downstairs. Okay. I just came downstairs to give the cats their breakfast. They're having sardines for breakfast, and look what I found. Someone brought this mackerel downstairs. Was that you, Stella? Did you bring the mackerel downstairs? So Stella just swatted at Boo, so that kind of reinforced my wanting to keep them separate during this uh, little overnight stay. And Simba has been doing this thing the past few days, or maybe I'm just noticing it, where he'll like walk into a room or run into a room, and then he makes a sound like a horse, like, like a <laughs> kind of sound. It's kind of funny. It's almost like he's sighing. It's like, <sighs> right Simba, are you sighing? Can you sigh? Simba, show us how you sigh. Can you sigh on command? Do it again. Let me explain how I have to do this because all four cats are downstairs right now. And so I am giving them the Tiki Cat sardines and I have one can uh, that I've mixed up with some water, kind of mashed everything up. And I am going to give that can to Stella Splash and Simba. But before I do that, I have to bring the other can upstairs because the other can is going to be split between Hydrox and Boo. And um, I'm going to bring that upstairs. Then I'm going to put the food out for Stella Splash and Simba. When I do that, I have to quickly pick up Boo and bring him upstairs. That's the only way for me to get him upstairs without the other cats going upstairs. So it's like I have to put the plan into effect. And the other cats are going to stay down here for the next uh, 36 hours or so. It'll be fine for them. They like it down here. I'd rather do that than have to stress Boo out. And right now, the reason why I'm separating them has more to do with keeping Boo stress-free than it does with worrying about him biting the other cats. Because Boo is FIV positive and no one really exactly knows 100% how that affects a cat. Um, I want to keep him as stress-free as possible if I can help it. So if I'm gone for like a day or two and he's alone with the cats and they start ganging up on him or picking on him, then that's gonna cause a severely stressful situation for him over a prolonged period of time and I don't want to do that. So that's my thinking right now because when someone is under stress, it can definitely shut down the immune system. Um, it happens all the time. Uh, when people are under a lot of stress, then all kinds of health problems pop up that would not occur otherwise. So that's my thinking right now. I know a lot of people would think, oh, just leave them all together. Um, I don't mind doing that if I'm gone, you know, all day. I don't even mind doing that if it's a short overnight because that's what I just recently tested out. But I think they need more short overnight trips before I can leave them all together for like a 48 hour trip. So that is my thinking also. They'll have a few more short overnight stays where they're all together in the house um, by themselves before they do like a two day stay by themselves, right Boo? Okay, so I'm gonna get everything ready and put this plan into motion. Okay guys, this was just so much easier than I thought it would be because Boo literally just followed me up the steps. He just followed me up the steps. He's like, okay, I'll go upstairs with you. And look at this, look at this. Stella and Simba are just hanging out on the rug and there's Splash. 
Simba. Simba, you look so pretty on the shamrocks. Do you know that? The cats are all eating their sardines. So one can was plenty for them. Boo's eating his sardines upstairs. He's very happy to have sardines. Now I'm gonna go give Hydrox some sardines. Okay, so Simba escaped, he went upstairs and I had to bribe him out with the fish because he wanted to go in the cat towers by the window. And then when I was like, no Simba, you're going downstairs. He started running away from me and eventually he went under the dining room table because he knows when he's under the dining room table there's really no way for anyone to get at him so i had to take out like the dried fish at which point he came running out from under the table and i scooped him up and i brought him down here but i still gave him a dried fish okay boo you be a good boy, and I will see you tomorrow night, okay? You be a good boy, and you relax, and you rest. Okay, boo? You guys, you guys did not relax all day yesterday. You guys were playing and fighting and acting crazy all day. So today's your day. Today's your spa day, boo. Today's your spa day to relax, okay? The other cats are downstairs, so you're up here by yourself. You'll get plenty of alone time to relax, okay? Okay, boo? You'll have plenty of alone time to relax. Be a good boy. I'll see you tomorrow night, okay? You can talk to Hydrox through the windows. Okay, boo, I gotta go. I gotta go and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, Stella. Okay, Splash. I'm just about to leave. So have a good day. Be nice to each other, okay, guys? I knew that they would get comfortable in their round beds. So there's two round beds on the couch. And then there's a... Rectangle bed, and here's Simba, he's laying on a blanket on the floor. I'm thinking maybe I should get the third round bed and put it on the couch so they each have a round bed. Okay, I just put the third round bed on the couch. They should love that. They have this furry rug. I put the blanket down for them. They have the Ikea bed. They have this bed. They have the cat tower. They have the rest of the basement to run around in. They have their exercise wheel if they want it. They have this cat play mat. They have the cat tunnel. The cats have just as much stuff down here to play with as they do upstairs. Look at Hydrox, he's laying in the sun. He's a very happy boy right now. So Hydrox had sardines for breakfast and then that wasn't enough for him so then he had half of a can of the Nature's Variety Instinct Chicken Pate, he loves that. So he's just going to sit out here by the crocuses. I wonder what the crocuses smell like to him. You know, cats have such a stronger sense of smell than we do. I wonder if it smells really good for him. And there are the crocuses. And here are some pretty white ones. Thank you for watching this Lucky Farrells video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.